Hello, my name is Paul and welcome to Building Blocks English. In today's video, we're going to talk about future in the past. Now, future in the past is a structure we use to talk about a future action which has already happened because we are talking about it from the perspective of the past. Okay, sounds confusing, but let's get started. To start off with, let's revise the basic future tenses. So, you will remember the basic future tenses will be going to present continuous from our previous video, which you can check out in the link below. But, for general future, we use, for example, I'm sure it will be a great year, which is will plus infinitive for a future prediction based on my opinion. Alternatively, I can say, I promise I will come to your birthday party. And I'm still using will, but in this case, for a future decision or a promise, which I make at the moment of speaking. And future decisions might be promises or offers or requests or threats. Okay, we also can use be going to, like I know it is going to be a great year because I'm starting a new job. In this case, I'm using be going to plus infinitive to make a future prediction with evidence. The evidence being the fact I'm starting a new job. Also, I can say we are going to make many grammar videos this year. And in this case, I'm using be going to plus infinitive to talk about a personal plan or intention for the future. Finally, I can say, I am meeting my friend after work using the present continuous to talk about future arrangements. Arrangements being future plans which involve another person or entity or organization. For all of these general future tenses, what we're doing is talking about the future from now. So I have my future action in the future and I'm looking at it from the perspective of now the present. But it's not the same when we talk about future in the past. So let's look at this one. I'm sure it will be a great year. In this one, I am looking at the future from the perspective of now. But for future in the past, I would say I was sure it would be a great year. And maybe it was a great year, or maybe it wasn't. In this case, would plus infinitive is future in the past, making a prediction from the past about a future time which is now also in the past based on my opinion. So, if we start from now, the present, and we go back to that past time when I made the prediction, the moment I am predicting was in the future from the past time, but is now from the present in the past. And we can see from the example that this future prediction has already happened because I said I was sure it would be a great year and it was. The year has already happened. The prediction was in the past and so was the future action. Okay, the second sentence was I promise I will come to your birthday party. For future in the past, I could say I promised I would come to your birthday party. And once again, I'm using would plus infinitive, this time for a past decision for the future made in the moment. But once again, this past decision affected a future moment, which is now in my past. Okay. We also saw how we can use be going to, to talk about future predictions with evidence. I know it's going to be a great year because I'm starting a new job. In future in the past, I might say, I knew it was going to be a great year because I started a new job. And this is using was or were plus going to plus infinitive to talk about a prediction from the past about the future, which has already happened, this time with evidence. So once again, I am looking back to the past from now, the present, and that past time is predicting an event which is in the future from the past time, but in the past from now. 
I can also use be going to plus infinitive to talk about personal plans or intentions. For example, we are going to make many grammar videos this year. For future in the past, I would say we were going to make many grammar videos last year, but we didn't because of the lockdown. So here I am using was or were going to plus infinitive to talk about unmet intentions in the past. That is intentions which I had, which never happened. I normally use this construction was were going to plus infinitive to make excuses. So if I'm looking back from now in the past, I planned to make videos in the future. And then after that, the lockdown happened, which meant no videos. But of course, the lockdown is now behind us. It's in the past. So this is future in the past. In some cases, I might make a personal plan or intention in the past and it is interrupted. For example, I was about to call you, but then you called me. So in the past, I had the intention of calling you, but before I could call you, you called me. Alternatively, I could say I was on the point, I was on the verge, I was on the brink of quitting my job, but then I remembered I had bills to pay. So here I am using be on the point of, be on the verge of, be on the brink of, plus verb ing, again to talk about interrupted intentions. In this case, to be on the point of, or verge of, or brink of something is a little more exaggerated than be about to, plus infinitive. If you want to review them for their general use for general futures, please check out the lesson on other expressions for the future. Okay, so we can use the present continuous as we know to talk about future arrangements made from the perspective of now, but what about future in the past arrangements? Well, let's see. I left work early because I was meeting my friend. In this case, I'm using the past continuous, was meeting. And this is an arrangement in the past which did happen. So, in the past, my first past action, I left work early. And then after that, still in the past, was my arrangement, meeting my friend. But what about if the arrangement didn't happen? Well, in that case, I could say something like, I was supposed to meet my friend, or I was meant to meet my friend, or I was due to meet my friend, but I had to work late, meaning that the arrangement didn't happen. So, be supposed to, be meant to, be due to, plus infinitive, are all used for arrangements which didn't happen. And again, they are past form of these general future expressions which you can learn more about by checking out that video. So, there are some other ways we can use future in the past. For example, here is a general future expression. I am to get a promotion this year. Looking at the future from now, I use be plus two plus infinitive to talk formally about scheduled future events. In future in the past, I could say I was to become a teacher. And I did. So here I'm using was or were plus two plus infinitive to talk about past scheduled events for the future formally. And these events did happen. For example, in the past I studied to be a teacher. So I was to become a teacher. And then later, but still in the past, I did become a teacher. If the scheduled event did not happen, I would use a different structure. For example, I was to have become an accountant, but instead I became a teacher. Here I am using was or were plus two plus have plus verb three, the past participle, to talk about past scheduled events for the future which didn't happen. And again, I'm using this construction formally. So in the past, I studied to be an accountant. I was to have become an accountant, but I decided I didn't want to do that. So then I changed to study to become a teacher and eventually 
I did become a teacher, not an accountant. So, we've looked at many ways we can use future in the past, so let's have a quick summary. The first thing I need to ask myself is, what is the situation from the past? Is it a prediction from the past about the future in the past? Well, is this prediction based on my general opinion? If yes, then I would use would plus infinitive. But, if the prediction is based on evidence, then I would use was or were going to plus infinitive. Is the situation a decision made in the moment in the past? In that case, I would use would plus infinitive. Is the situation an unmet intention used to give an excuse? Then I would use was or were going to plus infinitive. If the intention was interrupted, I could use was were about to plus infinitive or was, were, on the point of, verge of, or brink of, plus verb ing. Is the situation an arrangement? If the arrangement happened, then I could use past continuous. If the arrangement didn't happen, I could use was or were supposed to, or due to, or meant to, plus infinitive. Finally, for formal situations of future in the past, I would use was or were to plus infinitive for a scheduled event which happened, or was or were to have plus verb three for a scheduled event which did not happen. Okay, so that was future in the past. If you'd like more information about this topic, please use the link in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to like and subscribe and tell all your friends and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.